Coach Brendan Foley here. Hello, Chipola Nation. Uh, we uh, we want to talk about all the good things happening in Chipola basketball, and I thought we'd start today with talking about kind of where we've been in this program. Uh, this program started in 1947. Uh, Milt Johnson is the legendary coach who also played here way back in the day. Uh, coach, tell us what you think the legacy of Chipola basketball is. Uh, I think it speaks for itself. Um, and anybody in the basketball world knows Chipola. Um, it's a household name, and there's been so many great coaches who've come through here. They're all over the country, Division One wise. Uh -huh. it, it's almost like a big fraternity, um, and it's just it's it's continued. The ball, it never stops. Each year, the expectations are in the foundation have been laid right. uh, by all these great coaches that. It, it's you know great great place and a lot of tradition. All right, um, let's talk about last year. I know the program has been kind of moving in the right direction for the past through two or three years, and, and you're partly responsible for that because you were you were a big part of the recruitment plan and, and some of the X's and O's. So uh, let's talk about last season. Uh, what what happened last season in men's basketball? Last season uh, we obviously came up a little short. Uh, we finished as a runner up in the Region Eight. Uh, we. We got hurt down the stretch, uh, but we had a good season. Uh, we finished second in conference. Okay. Um, Northwest Florida won the, the state championship uh -huh. and, and represented um, Region 8 out of Hutch. But um, the goal is obviously to, to be there and be playing that last day and that last game. Just hopefully the outcome's different. Um, right, exactly. But we had a, a great year. All our kids uh, moved on. Um, I think we graduated six guys that went Division One, so Super. moved them Super. on. and. and um, had a good year. Okay, so building on last year, uh, who's coming back from that squad to, to lead us into victory this yeah. year? Well, we got a lot of new faces. Uh -huh. um, we only brought one guy back, okay. Keyshawn Bruton, All right. um, who was kind of our sixth man. Um, play, he was a freshman last year, obviously, averaged 10 points a game, uh -huh. four that, rebounds that's off the bench. Um, yeah, good spark plug, so uh -huh. I've challenged him quite a bit to, to take a huge step up uh, and kind of be a leader of this team. Okay and be the face of this team and uh, be the guy that sets the tone because he's been there, he's played, he knows the expectations, he's been through the panhandle, mm -hmm. uh, played for a state championship. Right. So he's got to um, lead this team and, and show the other guys the way. Okay. Um, and then we had a, one guy that we brought in at Christmas, but uh -huh. obviously had the red shirt. So he was there and got to see uh, from the bench uh -huh. the panhandle conference in the state tournament, right. but uh, obviously couldn't, couldn't yeah. uh, play because of eligibility and right. JCAA rules. Right. But, uh, I kind of treat him as a sophomore just because he's been around. He knows uh -huh. me. And what's he's his name? Check Fay. Check Fay. Yeah, okay. Check Fay. Check yeah. All right. Um, and let's talk about if you want to single out any of the new recruits this year. Um, well, we got so many. Um, we, we got a whole new team. Uh, like I said, um, we have I think uh, twelve new guys. Okay. So a lot of new faces. Uh -huh. um, but you know, every one of them brings a little uniqueness to this mm -hmm. team, and every one of them adds a good piece and they all bring something uh, and they've been working extremely hard okay so extremely pleased with that um, but you know we're excited um, to have them you know we have five sophomores I got nine guys that can leave uh -huh. six of them um, can leave for three years so it's it's kind of unique in a yeah. sense not every team that's that's right. not normal for junior college it is, so yeah. Uh, yeah there'd be a lot of competition um, and just, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited right. who we got and who we brought in. Okay. Main thing I know about basketball is that the goal is 10 feet yeah. high, and so it helps to have some bigger guys on yeah. your floor. Yeah. Would you call this a big team? Um, uh, yeah, we, we, we're a good size. I think I got um, seven guys that are, or maybe eight that are 6'5 or taller. That's um, you know, up front, we have a couple guys that are 6'9", uh -huh. and then we got some guys that are 6'7", 6'6". Okay. So we have a lot of length, athleticism. We have some bigger bodies, uh -huh. but um, I think the thing you, when you see our team, it, it, they would stand out as our length. Uh -huh. um, we have a lot of guys that are just long and rangy and versatile. Right, right. Which helps you get in the way, right. and it helps you um, create yep. activity on offense, yep. too. Yep. Yep. So, okay. yep. Fantastic. Um, so, Coach, here we are. We're on about the 29th of August. Um, how soon are our guys going to be on the floor in some kind of competition, even if it doesn't count? Um, well, obviously practice. Uh -huh. you know, we'll, we'll get geared up with that. But yeah. um, the first time will be October 7th. Uh, I think we talked about that last time yeah. over in Tallahassee. In Tallahassee yeah. Now, what's that called? A, the, uh, the Southeastern Jamboree. Okay. Uh, so we'll have three scrimmages that day. I don't know who we're playing or anything uh -huh. like that, but um, it's over at Tallahassee Community College. Okay. Um, and we get three uh, scrimmages against teams where uh, we'll get to kind of see where we're at. So we're excited about that. 
Yep. Okay. And then um, the first time they'll be able to see your product on the floor in the Milt will be, uh, what's, what's the date on that? November 2nd and 3rd. We open up here. Uh, we open with Miami Day. We've okay. got a, a great tradition. Um, their coach does a phenomenal job. Uh -huh. And then we play uh, the next night at home, too. Okay. All right. Fantastic. So uh, not not long away. No. Uh, a couple of months here to, to the actual um, no. basketball season. Um, and I know that um, your, your wife and assistant athletic director, uh, Natalie Foley, is, is working uh, – feverishly to get everything yeah. started for the season um, and we never want to we never want to end a conversation without talking about about our fans and our sure. boosters so um, let's let's reiterate uh, yeah. how people can get involved with this program well like we always talk about the, the appreciation club obviously there's different levels um, they're going through the membership drive right now I think last year we had 206 members which was the highest in, uh -huh. in many years so we're looking to, to multiply that and expand it. We're always looking for new members. It's a great way to get involved. And I think uh, we had an appreciation club meeting yesterday, uh -huh. and the, the, the thing that kind of um, hit home with me is when you calculate the price and all the home games we're uh -huh. going to have this year, it equals out to about 60 cents per admission. Oh, my gracious. So, I mean, you're talking about getting into a lot of games. Yeah. See, a lot of... A lot of good games, and our teams compete for sixty cents. You uh -huh. can't get much for sixty cents. No, anymore. you can't. You can't. So, so if if you just come to the gate, it's five dollars to get right. in. So if you got a family of four, that's twenty bucks every right. time you come to a game, mm -hmm. and it's only two hundred and fifty for a membership. Correct. So you would only have to go to um, ten or twelve games, yeah. you know, and that would that would pay for it. And then also you get refreshments and you get reserved seating. Right. So it's a it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely good deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, coach. Um, we're excited about the season. We're glad you got your new squad in, and yep. um, and things are looking up for Chipola men's basketball. Definitely. And uh, anything else you got for the good of the order? No, just uh, thanks for having me on, and, and we're looking forward to um, getting this going in All November. Right. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.